Welcome. I have something very exciting to show you today. Using the R47 PowerCore Ultra, I was able to channel upwards of 10 gigajoules per second of energy out of condensed power stones without encountering any significant losses in efficiency. The amplitude and frequencies of vibrations at higher dual inputs seem to be minimalized by an advanced internal stabilizer in the compression chamber, averting electrothermal heat displacement. It's literally bending the law of thermodynamics. Why are we here? I've designed a power suit running on the R47 PowerCore Ultra. It will greatly enhance the speed at which we can rebuild the bridge. It's a design I came up with at Vega 5 but I never believed we'd actually find the energy output to put it into practice. My inspiration for it comes from something very obscure, something you two never would have heard of. Isn't this one of the robots from that old world entertainment show? What was it? Gungums? Um, must be a bizarre coincidence. I've never seen anything like that. Why would I be watching some random, obscure old world entertainment show? In any case, this will be very useful. I was planning on using cranes, but with this, we can save a lot on the budget. Good job, Director. If I ever get my hands on any other R57 course, I'll be able to manifest even more superior designs. <coughs> uh, here's the diagram for it. I mean, it looks exactly like one of the Gungam robots. Uh, look at the time. We all have a lot of work to do, so I bid you both good day. Fine. When you're done with this Gunga mobile suit, give it to me. We should have the budget for it. I heard that.
So this is it. The definitely not a Gunga mobile suit. While you were working, I factored this thing into my construction plan, and with it, we'll be able to finish what's left of the bridge base in just two days. And since that's the case, I'll send word to Atara and have them send us a bridge inspector on the double. We'll have water trains back in Sandrock in no time flat. That she really has an amazing mind. Though, you'll never hear me say it to him. If his head got any more full of hot air, I think he might just float away. And we need him here, don't we? Well, thanks again for all your efforts. I'll show Chi your work. I think he'll be very impressed with how faithful you've been to his design. Be ready to install those load-bearing trusses you built before.
Hey there. Take her easy. So there I was, outnumbered, a million to one. Whoa, did you just see that? He's really close to the tracks. Yeah, no kidding. We should probably... <gasps> Train's coming. <sighs> nice one, buddy. Uh -huh. I was uh, just about to do that. What's going on? is, I was feeling sleepy when I got off the train last night, and, well, I don't know how to answer that one. Is it better or worse if I mention this stuff happens from time to time? In any case, thanks for saving me. I meant, I was sent here by the Taran government to inspect a railway bridge. Where can I find City Hall? I'm supposed to talk with Mayor Trudy. Hold your horses, pal. You're not getting off that easy. I don't care if you're the deacon of many. Here in Sandrock, everybody subscribes to a little tenant called responsibility. What if we hadn't showed up? You'd be in the hospital right now, at best. Next time you feel like taking a nap, check your surroundings. Ask yourself questions like, am I near any heavy machinery? Am I in the den of monsters? Do I smell gas? This line of thinking may save your life one day, because we're not always going to be there. You got it? Er, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'll try to be more careful from now on. Yeah, you do that. All's well that ends well, I guess. Uh, hey, Builder, me and Unsure got a patrol. Can you do me a solid and take the inspector here to City Hall? I feel a lot better if you went along, considering the circumstances. Thanks. Unsure? Let's ride. Sorry for the trouble. Please, lead the way. Well, hello. It 
Seems the two of y'all are familiar. Indubitably, this is sleepy at... Uh... Mint. We grew up together. Mint, you're here on behalf of the Ataran government, I presume? Yeah, that's right. I've been working as an engineer around the free cities. They've sent me here to make sure your bridge is good to go. Nice to meet you, Mayor Trudy. I meant. Pleased to make your acquaintance as well, Mr. Mint. I'm afraid Mayor Trudy is out at the moment. I'm Minister Matilda. I'll be taking over for her until she gets back. I hadn't expected your arrival so soon, Mint. We may need to continue this discussion a bit later. I must say, though, what a coincidence! The director's childhood companion waltzing in to inspect the bridge he toiled so hard on. And we here at Sandrock do appreciate the good doctor's work, don't we? Actually, I wasn't finished talking about my robot, but never mind that. Speaking of inspection... Sleepyhead, did you bring your inspection equipment? Ah, I didn't. I knew it. Never change, Mint. Do you know what you need? Yeah. I need a magneto-inductive inspector to test the stress. Alright, I've got it. Can you help? I'll draw up a diagram for Mint's missing equipment and send it to you. Please check your mailbox tomorrow and build it for us as soon as possible. Thanks. Well, if you're not ready for me, Minister, I could maybe use a rest. It's been over 10 minutes since my last nap. So, where is the local hotel here? Hotel? Nonsense! You'll be staying with me. I am certain you will find my research center far more hospitable than that old milk shack. Well, okay. Ah, well, let's not get in the way of these two peas in a pod. Looks like they have a lot of catching up to do. So long! Heidi showed me the mobile suit. It's exactly as I imagined. I've come to find that I can consistently rely on you to deliver results. That'll be all.
I'm beginning to think it's a myth. It's good to see you again. Well met. I'm beginning to think it's a myth. I've been traveling around. Thank you.